Come on, lads, let's do some banter. There's no ladies in. Don't look at them. Don't use, don't use your peripheral vision. There's no ladies. There's no ladies. There's no ladies. It's banter time. Cool women. What are they like? Hey. Inspired by like other things I've seen, like not comedy stuff, but I am by that too. But I get too influenced, so I don't try not to watch too much. Uh, but like you know, like go and watch some weird theater or something, and things that and children's theater as well, as we see a lot of that now. They know it's hard to get the little fuckers to sit still and to concentrate. So watching what they do to get their attention, to get little toddlers' attention at three years old, I tried to bring a bit of that in. <laughs> oh, hey ladies, ladies, drive much? Drive much? <laughs> you drive much? You ladies, you do the drive much? Actually, Tony, statistically, women are far better drivers than men. Back off, science, in your hutch! <laughs> Three years ago, you were in the Black Leotard, was it? Yeah, Black Leotard, yeah. Um, and then last year, you kind of, it was braces yes. and... It was more braces and high trousered, but there was more... Uh, Working man, because my background is a working class man on a farm, and I wanted to feel like that when I was on stage. So whatever I delivered, I wanted to feel like a working man. Is that how you like feel a now? Man. Well, then I've stepped it up a notch. I'm a working man who's read some books, so I've got much posher trousers. And then also with the Olympics, I got the uh, uh, red, white, and blue striped shirt, and I wanted to look like a 1908 Olympian. <laughs> Probably play some of the many famous Viking games that have been passed down to us that we still play, don't we? You still play them, don't you? Uh, we probably play them this morning. You know the famous Viking games? Like, uh, Stab Cat? <laughs> that was one, well, isn't it? Stab Cat? Boo! Well done, Eric! You got him in the leg! Yeah! Do you miss anything about what you've previously done? So, you know, previous uh, bits of material? That... Not really, no, because then you get so obsessed by the new bit that you just don't... Yeah. You're not bothered by it anymore. So I do a lot more new material nights where people like love that so they love it to go a bit wobbly and so I saw someone was in tonight who goes to Old Rope in London where I do all my new material and she was blown away because she'd seen those bits when they were just that and then they you know but I live in a tiny flat in North London a tiny tiny little flat and recently we've had an infestation a, a horrible infestation of two scuttling nasty ignorant moronic Trolls. And they, they scuttle around and they have no reason, no ethics. They're just knocking and full of horrible two little tro twins, three year old twins. Three year old human being twins have infested our flat and our lives and they scuttle about. And your instinct, as any normal human being is, is to hurl them out a window <laughs> or give them a karate chop. Is there an element of pushing boundaries still? No, no, because I think they've all were pushed in the 70s already. So, yeah, maybe. If things get a bit too much like that, then do more of that. And then if they get a bit too much like that, then do more of that. Like, yeah, balance. I'm trying to balance it out, man. <laughs>